Okay guys, before I start this video, uh, I'm just going to do something here uh, to show you how to enable Oculus Rift support for Dying Light. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Documents folder, which is right here, it's Library Documents. Uh, you're going to find the folder that says Dying Light, open it, open out, open settings, and you're going to find the file that says video.scr. And go ahead and open Notepad, or you got one open over here, and just drag it right in there. Alright, to enable Oculus Rift, all you have to do is copy this, take this line right here, and copy it, and you're going to put it down here, just like that. I already have it on there, so there you go. And you're going to go up to here, File, and Save. And that's it, and it should be enabled. Hello everybody, this is Supervision here, and I am in the world of Dying Light, and not only am I in the world of it, but I'm also using the Oculus Rift, because Dying Light has uh, native Rift support, which is really cool. Um, but that doesn't mean that it does not come with its own hiccups. So I'll be explaining all those here right now. Alright, so first thing you'll notice probably is how low my video settings will be. Um, unfortunately, I've had to turn them all the way down to get even an acceptable frame rate in the Rift where it's not making me vomit everywhere. And that's a problem because, uh, of course, Dying Light came out yesterday and it's already experiencing frame rate issues. Pretty much everyone is. And I don't think, I think I had, I like to think I have a decent system. I have a, a Intel i7 4790K, I'm sorry, uh, with... Uh, two GTX 770s from video cards, and I'm still experiencing some serious problems, some serious frame rate issues, uh, even without the Rift. You know that it's not just with the Rift. I mean, the Rift doesn't help, but uh, without the Rift, I'm even having problems. So it's definitely an issue. Um, other than that, though, the game actually looks really good. Open. You know. I've, even on lowest settings, it doesn't look too terrible. It's not that bad. So, how is the Rift support, though? Um, it's a little shoddy, I would say. It's not the best, and there's one main reason. Uh, there's no positional tracking. As in, when I lean in, I'm sorry, when I lean in and back and stuff, it doesn't track where my head is actually moving. It just has, uh, you know, Head tracking, you know, look, just head tracking, not positional head. And that becomes a big problem, especially with new games. Because with games like these, when you have your head tracking, it's just that more immersive. And when you don't, it takes away from the experience. Not much, I mean, it, the, it's definitely still really cool with the Rift with the, without positional tracking. But, oh, come on, there we go. But I, it's definitely missed right now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I uh, I've been testing this and trying to get it work for about the past three hours and getting my stuff to record correctly and all that. Trying messing with the frame rates and stuff, and I've been dealing with low-ish frame rates for quite a while on the Rift, and I never really have before. Um, I'm doing that for the sake of the video. And unfortunately, I'm actually starting to get just a little nauseous. It's not, it's not like horrible. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna puke everywhere. No, no, it's, but I can, I'm, I'm starting to feel it because of the low frame rate. And I had this on the lowest settings. So, I mean, I, I, I might be able to turn them up a little bit, but I don't want to take that chance. I've tried them all. There's not much difference in frame. I mean, once I turn on, basically once I turn up texture re texture resolution and uh, the depth of field and stuff like that, that's when things really start bogging down on me. And that's bad. Oh, why didn't you jump on that, idiot? Hey, it's a big guy. Alright. So, I've heard, I've seen many reports of the game not running well on anybody's system and that's a big problem because uh, this seems to be an ongoing trend and we're all frankly I think we're all sick of it <laughs> mentally and physically because uh, some people have a big issue with frame rate problems if they're not uh, you know if it's not good people start getting nauseous especially with like FOB and stuff like that yeah 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 
Get off me, bitch. What the fuck? Get off! Get off! No! What? What? I can't read it. I can't read Oh, it's F. God damn it. Fuck. Okay, um, that brings up another big glaring problem that I meant to talk about. Uh, the text in this game is completely ineligible. It's... it's... it's not legible. You can't... it cannot be read. Like, when it's telling me to do stuff and press buttons, I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what to do, I can't read what you're telling me. That's a big issue, because a lot of that stuff comes in in a big way. And it's very helpful when you have that kind of stuff, you know, able to be used. My sound cut out there for a second there, that's weird. Um, so that's obviously a big problem. But... There's also, um... Okay, I talked about the lack of positional tracking. What else is there? Um... I, w I could use a keyboard and mouse, or I could use a controller, I would, but I guess, but I like my keyboard and mouse better. Um... What else is a big problem? Yeah... It's... Oh, um, how, so how the game actually looks, uh, anti-aliasing wise. Um... The anti-aliasing for the game, I've turned, I've, I can play this on highest settings uh, without the rift on, I usually do. Uh, I've only been playing this for a couple hours today, but I've messed around with a lot of the settings. And when I turn on the highest settings, I mean, with the anti-aliasing is just horrible. And it only has two settings, off and on. <laughs> There's not any customization there, not like TXAA or MS, MFAA or SMAA, anything like that. Oh, fuck! God damn it, that's getting annoying. I'm jumping and it's not doing it's he's not going where I want to <laughs> now you guys might think I hate this game right now but I don't actually because um, it's actually a good game so let's I like to do this I like to put it put aside the technical issues in games and focus on the game if it actually ran good and all those problems weren't there um, and what you'll find is actually a pretty good game you know Techland they kind of dropped personally with me they I didn't like that island at all so with all the new improvements in this game better better melee uh, the parkour mechanic uh, better AI better characters better story just all around a better experience definitely makes the game amazing and I will say that I think the game if it didn't have any technical problems this would be definitely a, a pretty amazing game it's Got a lot to it. It's really cool. And I'm just running around showing... I'm just mainly showing out the parkour mechanic. I'm not really doing any objectives. But that's because I don't want to do any kind of spoilers or anything like that. That's a lot of zombies. So, you know, it's not... It's definitely not the best right now. Performance-wise, son of a bitch. Fucker. God, I hate that. Okay, so this is the lock picking mechanic uh, that you see here. It's a lot like Skyrim, with the uh, you know having that and then turning it with uh, something else. And these chests usually have something really cool in them. This one has I can't read that what it is. And another pipe. God damn it! I'm not finding any good weapons like a machete or anything. All I found is fucking pipes and wrenches. Uh, battery and some gauze. I think that said. I can't read it. So, yeah, game, it's a lot of fun, actually. It's very interesting. Oh, uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about, the Oculus Rift. Uh, in the cutscenes, there are, n it doesn't give you free look, free look. You can't look around um, in a cutscene. And uh, that also brings up another problem, uh, when there is a cutscene, your character looks around, it yanks the head control away from you. And that's definitely not good, because it kind of makes you feel like someone's controlling you. Like, they're controlling your head. And it's a really weird feeling, and it does definitely takes away from the game. See, look. Fucking wrench. God damn. That's all this game's been giving me, weapon-wise. But I've only been playing for a couple hours, so I know I'm sure if I get more... If I'm, I'm sure if I progress more, I'll start getting more weapons, might get some guns, and stuff like that. I've already opened this. Uh, 
So yeah, uh, that's what I have to say about it right now. Oh god. So, man, why is my sound cutting out like that? Okay. So, there's also another problem. Uh, there's no head tracking in menus. Not the great, not the best. Definitely not the best. But at least I can read some stuff in there. I, I, can, t I can at least tell what I'm looking at. Okay, where's my where's my medkit? I need to make that. Use that. Alright, so use my medkit. That's good. God, that really needs a quick option. Quick menu thing. That's just... Ugh. But, I think that's going to do it for this video, actually, guys. Uh, I hope I've uh, been able to shed some light on the on Dying Light with the Rift. Uh, I, def I think I'm going to wait until they fix some issues, technical-wise, to do the played this game on the Oculus Rift, uh, this is definitely going to be a monitor game for me right now, because it's not running that well in the Rift, I'm actually starting to get a little sick right now. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, I hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did, uh, let me know in the comments below, leave a like, whatever, whatever you want to do, and uh, I will see you guys later, bye!